We see failings in government. We see corruption. We see waste. We see people being overlooked by their government. And the BGA, throughout its history, has looked out for such people, has dove deeply into the inner workings of government and found out what is happening where nobody else is looking and nobody else is taking the time to look. One of the points of publishing a story about O'Hare was to show the history, the history of corruption, the history of lack of accountability, the history of having companies again and again come back with projects that are behind schedule and they're over budget. A lot of my reporting is done through the lens of environmental justice. We all have a right to clean air and clean water. The BGA investigations into Burke, those were the start of a string of federal investigations that have really sort of built on themselves. We've had state senators now having their offices raided. We've had village halls having their offices raided. And that goes to the core of what the BGA does. The BGA exposes corruption, exposes lack of accountability, and keeps local officials accountable. Following our investigation earlier this year on the deficiencies in environmental protection under the manual administration, Mayor Lightfoot has said that she is going to reinstate either an office or department of environment. I think this whole federal investigation is really interesting and is going to continue in looking at how Chicago and Illinois works and in many instances how it doesn't work for its citizens. This year with this historic municipal election we decided to team up with a number of groups that have expertise and authority in covering and really working from neighborhoods across the city of Chicago in diverse communities in all 50 wards. And we produced ShyVote, a one-stop shop for everything you needed to know about the municipal election. The mayor proposed a package of ethics reforms. BGA's policy team was involved in trying to get them passed. We uh, testified before the committee and then again before the city council. I wrote a commentary piece that appeared in a local paper asking the aldermen to go ahead and pass these reforms, which were things that they had been resisting for decades. We think it's important to focus on big issues like corruption. We think it's just as important to look around the state of Illinois for failures in government that affect people outside of the city. We did a very deep dive into the suburb of Dalton. We described the difficulties that community has in getting any attention, for example, to the fact that a train line that runs through that city keeps people waiting for hours sometimes while freight trains amble through town. We had a very moving photograph in that series about kids sitting there doing their homework on a sidewalk right next to a freight train, waiting for the freight train to go through so they could go get home from school. That's life in Dalton, and it's a story that nobody but the BGA was going to invest the time in telling. In the next year, the BGA will rise to the challenge of the opportunity of having leaders in city and state government who present themselves as reformers. We will take on investigative projects that are more ambitious than anything that we've ever done. We need to get more involved in more diverse communities across the city, and we need to cover state government at a level of ambition that previously has not been seen. This cause is too important. And so yes, it's challenging. Yes, it's uphill. Yes, it's demoralizing to see how hard it is to affect change, but we can't give up.